normal. All right, that's one. Remember, it's first one to five. First one to five. You gotta get your own rebound. You gotta get your own rebound. Come on. All right, that's two. Yeah, had two right now. That's three. You got it, you got it. Remember how you shot three, remember how you shot three. Ah, that's tough. I hate rim outs. I hate rim outs. There you go. One more just like that. There you go, that's five. That's one. That's two. Give me three. That's five. Hold on. And try to make sure you get the dribble and then the shot. So, go ahead. Oh. That's a suicide later, coach. That's a suicide later, ladies and gentlemen. You got it. Come on. Mid-range is your bread and butter. Come on now. That's three. There you go. One for four. Side. On this side, this side, this side, this side, this side, this side. There you go. Two for six. Three for seven. 
There's one dribble pull up in the mid range, so if you need to get closer, you can. Four for eight. That boy said, nah, I'm good. <laughs> Okay, five for nine. Ladies and gentlemen, that's old school coaching right there. He touching the baseline. Six for 10. That's crazy. That's crazy. Good stuff, boy. Good stuff. It was a little slicker on mine, that's all I'm saying. Bro. I ain't saying they cheated, but they cheated. Uh, that's cool. Sports is one of the few things that genuinely connects us together. Whether with coworkers, friends, family, we all love the entertainment. Well, here on Get a Bucket, my goal is to talk about sports and its cultural impact. The WNBA, for example. The WNBA is loads of entertainment. From the new rookies battling, displaying their skill sets, and preparing to take the league by storm, to the titans and the MVPs of the league clashing for battles we'll always remember. From imagining the soon-to-be possibilities, to admiring and treasuring the finales. Get a Bucket is a platform where other sports analysts, hoopers, coaches, and fans of the show come and talk about the WNBA, both negatives and positives. So if you haven't, take a quick peek. At the very least you'll have a good time. Remember, sports is one of the few things that genuinely connects us together. So please, tune in and stay connected. So, Chris. UNC. Who's y'all star player this year? You say, of course, but I mean, RJ Davis ain't too bad now. So, I mean, why you got Baycott? Okay. I understand RJ. Best player is okay, so y'all best player is Baycott. So then, if if RJ if RJ outplays Baycott, what y'all stealing? Um, I think 
Sweet 16. The only way that it could be like anything further, all they got to pick is into a book documentary. Okay. Remember, Out playing Baycott isn't taking it to another level? But we got a bad pick in our match on not last year. Okay. Let me ask. Number one, they didn't make the tournament. They got swept by B. Okay. Let me ask you this then. Final shot, final take. Good shot. Who would be your X Factor for y'all this year? Honestly? Elliot. Oh. Uh, 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 if him and Eddie, if him and RJ can, can be the same thing as that court, don't be like Caleb, but just play your game. And we'll probably pick All right. All right. I mean, you got in on the shot made. So come on, my boy. Make this so we can finish up. Come on now. Just do a layup. So Trey, who is your X Factor for and for the team this year? I would say it, it's Proctor. Okay, why? Expect, it's Proctor. I'm expecting Phillips to be Philip Philipowski, meaning I expect uh, Roach to be Roach, but and Proctor can give me that third option, then great. Okay. Uh, and I think last year he showed us how to, I need to see more consistency from him. Okay. And like, I, it's going to be interesting because he could be out of position at times, too. We got the freshman mm -hmm. uh, Caleb in the game. And maybe he don't have to play against the court, the court with the threes. But, yeah, you know, if not, he might be a little tough. He might, he might play out of position, but I'm expecting to probably try to back. Okay. All right. So, what do you think y'all ceiling is for, for a dish year? What's y'all feeling? Because everybody's saying – Y'all won the picks to win it all this year. Is that true? <laughs> I want to say we can. Our problem's rebounding. Like, we have an issue. Because uh, Mark's got to play out of position. So, mm -hmm. so, if we can rebound, and if we can get back to our guards being defensive, tenacity, by having a defensive tenacity, we straight. Yeah. Okay. Then it's going to be over. Okay. That's all. All right, last one. Last one for the folk. What is your your team's weakness for this for this year? Oh, it's rebounding. Rebounding, that's all. Effort is part of rebound, but rebounding. So I guess effort overall too, because the guy that bleeds into defense. So if we can, if we can sit up there and give more effort on the defensive end, we do have the offense to sneak by to talent by. So that's what I want to see for Duke this year. That's what I'm kind of fearful of seeing early on. We didn't really show that. We did bounce back well from MSU, but let's see how it came. Oh, hey, and you're not a good though, right there.
You guys were still here. As, as, as you can see, we're at the back end of the show. No pun intended, but look, hope you all enjoyed it. And before you go, please subscribe to the YouTube channel, follow the IG account, share the content to anybody who's anybody. And most importantly, leave your thoughts and comments below. But I got to go back and play Buddy in 2K, so let me unmute him real quick. Excuse me. Hey, boss, I'm back. Nah, you better catch this word. You know we get buckets around here, too.